Every day for two weeks after the coup of July 27, 1990, artist Anthony Timothy picked up his stool, his brushes and paint, and his canvases, and trekked through Port of Spain. What Anthony saw was utter destruction. What he set down in paint was the memory of one of the most important events in local history. Captured a moment in time that existed for just two weeks. Because in about two weeks, the bulldozers were uh, clearing up the place. The buildings were one thing, the personalities quite another. Prime Minister A. N. R. Robinson and coup leader Abu Bakr could not be excluded from what came to be called the coup collection. A few, a few weeks before the July the 27th, I went to the Ministry of Information and I got a few pictures of ministers. And um, I wanted to do something new, and I thought, you know, why not try one of these portraits? So I took out Robinson portrait, um, paint a picture of a, a photograph, and I started drawing it, you know, and copying it from the photograph. The painting of Bakker, now called Religious Distortion, was added to the collection quite by chance. I don't know how I managed to be in the, the office of the Guardian newspaper and um, in the photograph room. And there this was a, a, a snapshot of Abu Bakr on the, on, on the screen, you know, and, uh, and I asked the photographer if I, if I can have it, he said, sure, you know, it was one I did a reject, you know. And um, so I was able to see the, the lines and everything on the, on the television, you know. So it, it, and that image itself gave the painting its name. In all, I did 17 pieces. Um, 18, including a, a, a small one, um, but I made, I narrowed down the collection, you know, um, to 15. Um, the first time it was shown at uh, La Jolla, Eastern Credit Union, that exhibition, the, the, the mayor, Augustus Williams, did the formal opening, and he then um, made a request that if he could have it shown in the city hall, you know, um, it was, that was a big deal. Today, the capital city is vastly different, and a young generation has no memory of the events of 1990. Anthony Timothy hopes the coup collection, 15 watercolors in all, will change that. We want to have a better future for ourselves, living on in our children, so it is important that um, we preserve our history. You know, and this is my little thing that I did. This, you know, I preserve this, so this makes it very important to me, and I'm just trying to share that understanding with others so they could come to that consciousness. As the 18th anniversary of the events of 1990 draws near, the coup collection is being offered for sale. But I think it should be in a place where the public, people of Trinidad and Tobago, you know, students would go and visit, you know. They capture a moment in time, you know, and it, that, that was a changing point in, in our lives. From the dust of disaster, the new towers of Port of Spain rise. But will this construction bring hope and fulfillment to its peoples? Look at these pictures, frozen on canvas. A legacy for us and citizens to come. Will that devastation caution us so that history does not repeat itself? May these paintings these actualities of murder, marauders, and mayhem be our candle in the darkness, a vision of light and resolve to uphold the rights of the distressed, not only of Port of Spain, but for all the peoples of Trinidad and Tobago.